How strong is a gorilla compared to other great apes? What if all the great apes had a wild strength competition? In today's video, we'll pit the gorilla against all its great ape relatives. Chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and yes, homo sapiens, to see who comes out on top in size, strength, bite force, and more. Gorillas are the largest of them all, known for their barrel-chested build and gentle but imposing presence. Chimpanzees and bonobos are our closest genetic cousins, sharing about 98 to 99 percent of our DNA, though they're much smaller than gorillas. Orangutans are the reddish, long-armed apes of Asia, famous for swinging through trees. And humans? Well, we're the odd ones with big brains, walking upright, and comparatively puny bodies. Each of these apes has evolved differently, and those differences are key to understanding their strength. Size and Build Gorillas weigh around 300 to 485 pounds, 136 to 220 kilograms for adult males, and 4 to 6 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 meters tall. Females are smaller, roughly half the weight of males, but still strong. They have a thick barrel chest, broad back and powerful arm and shoulder muscles. Their arms are longer than their legs, built for knuckle walking on all fours and for climbing when needed. A chimpanzee is around 90 to 130 pounds, 40 to 60 kilograms for adult males, standing up to 5 feet 1.5 meters, but usually moving on all fours or hunched. Chimps look slim next to gorillas, but they are packed with dense muscle. They have a strong upper body and long arms relative to their legs, though not as disproportionate as an orangutan's. The bonobo is around 70 to 100 pounds, 30 to 45 kilograms for males. Bonobos have a more slender build than chimps. Their heads are a bit smaller and their shoulders narrower. In a lineup, you might tell a bonobo by its slightly more upright posture and longer legs relative to arms. They're still much smaller than a gorilla. In fact, a big male gorilla could weigh as much as four bonobos put together. Now let's move to orangutans. They weigh between 150 to 285 pounds, 68 to 129 kilograms, and have around 4 to 5 feet, 1.2 to 1.5 meters, when standing. Orangutans are bulky, but in a different way than gorillas. They have a pear-shaped body with a big belly and very long arms. They aren't as wide and thick in the chest as gorillas. Instead, their power is concentrated in those shoulders and arms for climbing. An average adult man weigh between 130 to 200 pounds, 59 to 91 kilograms, and have a height around 5'4 to 6 feet, 1.63 to 1.83 meters for most. We humans actually can reach the same height as a gorilla, but we are usually nowhere near as broad or heavy. Even a very athletic, muscular human is typically under 250 pounds, unless they're an extreme bodybuilder or strongman competitor. Our bodies have lighter bone structure and less muscle mass compared to similarly sized apes. Larger size generally means more absolute strength potential. Gorillas, being the biggest, have a huge advantage here. More weight and more muscle to throw around. A gorilla's arm is packed with strength, whereas a chimp's arm, though strong, just can't leverage the same power due to smaller size. In a test of pure brawn, the gorilla's massive build sets the stage for dominance. However, size isn't everything, which brings us to how effectively each ape uses their muscles. Pure Strength Now let's talk raw strength, the ability to lift, pull, and break things. Gorillas are often called the strongest primates and here's why. They combine large size with incredible muscular power. Researchers estimate that a gorilla is anywhere from 4 to 10 times stronger than the average adult man. That's a huge range, but even the low end, 4 times, is impressive. Chimpanzees may be much smaller, but they are no weaklings, far from it. 
Modern studies show chimp muscles are about 1.35 to 1.5 times as powerful as human muscles of the same size. Given chimps are roughly half the weight of an adult man, an average chimp is still stronger than an average man, especially in upper body strength. They've been known to yank and break things with startling force. For example, in unfortunate incidents, chimps have literally torn off human fingers or limbs with their strength. Between a chimp and a gorilla, it's no contest. The gorilla's greater size and also robust muscles mean it can generate more force. Bonobos, being a bit smaller and leaner than chimps, have similar muscle power in theory, but less absolute strength due to their size. Against a gorilla, however, a bonobo wouldn't stand a chance in brute strength. The gorilla could literally lift a bonobo with one arm with ease. Orangutans are famously strong, especially in their arms and grip. Living in trees and climbing all day makes their upper bodies extraordinarily powerful. Gorillas likely have the edge even over orangutans in strength. Gorillas have a more massive build and thicker arms. Orangutans are strong climbers, but are not adapted to the same kind of ground power moves a gorilla can do. For example, adult male orangutans, being two-thirds the weight of a big gorilla, can deadlift as much as a gorilla could. Humans? Well, we come last in this strength ranking. The strongest human can lift maybe 800 to 1,000 pounds in a deadlift or squat. That is astonishing for a human, yet a gorilla could exceed that without special training. Average humans who might struggle to lift a heavy couch are simply no match for any great ape in raw strength. Research shows chimps and other apes not only have stronger fibers, but also can recruit more muscle fibers quicker than us. Our muscles are built more for endurance than power. So in an arm wrestling or weightlifting scenario, even a much smaller ape would likely beat a human. Natural weapons. Imagine a confrontation. What weapons does each ape have at its disposal? None of these apes have claws or venom or anything like that, but they do have formidable teeth, strong jaws, and of course their limbs, which can be used to hit or grab. Let's compare these offensive, defensive tools, especially focusing on bite force and teeth, since those often surprise people. Gorillas are mostly gentle giants, but they look intimidating for a reason. A male gorilla has two-inch long canine teeth that resemble daggers when it roars or yawns. These canines are primarily for show and social dominance. A gorilla flashing its teeth is basically saying, don't mess with me but they can certainly be used to bite in a fight. Measurements and models suggest a gorilla's bite force can reach about 1,300 pounds per square inch, PSI. Besides biting, a gorilla can use its arms like clubs. A silverback swipe or punch has been estimated to hit with 1,300 to 2,700 pounds of force, enough to shatter bones. They can also charge with their great mass. Defensively, that thick skin and muscle also act like armor. Chimps have slightly smaller canines than gorillas, but still very impressive fangs for their body size. A male chimp's canines might be around an inch long and razor sharp, evolved for male dominance battles and self-defense. Chimps are infamous for using their teeth in fights, including against humans in rare attacks. They can and will bite off fingers, ears, even tear chunks of flesh with a single chomp. Their bite force has been commonly estimated at around 1300 PSI as well, similar to a gorilla's in raw PSI. Part of it is head and jaw anatomy. Chimps have very robust jaw muscles for their size and relatively efficient leverage in their bite. Beyond teeth, chimps also use their hands and feet to grab and tear. They are extraordinarily agile, so a common chimp attack might be a flurry of bites and slaps. However, one-on-one, -on -one, a chimp lacks the gorilla's weight and reach. Bonobos have similar teeth to chimps, with strong jaws and sharp canines. They can bite fiercely if needed. 
If threatened, a bonobo could certainly defend itself with bites and by hitting with arms, but they're not as notorious for aggressive attacks as chimps are. Against a gorilla, the bonobo's only hope would be to flee or use smarts. Physically, a single swipe from a gorilla could incapacitate a bonobo. So bonobos are armed with sharp teeth and strength, but they're more lover than fighters in general. Orangutans also have impressive canines and a powerful bite. One estimate puts an orangutan's bite force between 500 and 800 psi, which is lower than the gorilla chimp range, but still several times a human's bite. However, orangutans are quite docile. They very rarely fight each other, except for occasional male-male disputes. If somehow a gorilla and an orangutan met, the gorilla's greater size might overpower the orangutan. Both have big teeth and big muscles, though the gorilla's bite and strength are a bit superior. The gorilla is more of a ground brawler, whereas the orangutan might try to use agility if it could. Without tools, we humans are embarrassingly ill-equipped. We have flat, small canines. Good for smiling, not so much for biting into a foe. We have no claws, no super strength. Our best natural weapon might be our fists or feet, but against the thick muscle of a gorilla or the quickness of a chimp, punching or kicking would do very little. One solid hit from a gorilla would break a human in return. So physically, a human's only edge is our brain and maybe endurance. With a gorilla, people are told to appear non-threatening and back away slowly. You really don't want to trigger that strength and those teeth. In summary of weaponry, gorillas have the most intimidating combination of size and bite force. They're like armored tanks with sledgehammers for arms and a powerful bite to boot. Evolution and muscles. It's fascinating to ask why gorillas ended up as the strongest great apes. The story lies in evolution and lifestyle. One key reason is muscle fiber types. Gorillas have a higher proportion of fast twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch fibers are the kind that contract quickly and powerfully, but can fatigue faster. They are great for explosive strength, like climbing a tree in a hurry, or wrestling with a rival for a short burst. When a gorilla needs to throw a punch or hoist its body up, all its fiber types kick in for maximum strength. Orangutans evolved an interesting body too. Long arms and a lot of shoulder mobility to swing from trees. They kept strong upper bodies, though their lower body is weaker. Chimps and bonobos are somewhere in between. Semi-upright sometimes, but mostly knuckle walking and climbing, so they also kept strong arms and somewhat smaller legs. If you compare skeletons, a gorilla's bones are thick and built to anchor huge muscles. Gorilla males occasionally have to fend off predators or other males, so there was a big evolutionary payoff for any gorilla that was stronger. It could protect its family group and secure mating rights by displaying strength. Chimpanzees also have some male competition, but chimps rely more on group dynamics. Orangutans, interestingly, also have strong male-male competition, but an orangutan's strategy is often to avoid direct fights. They will fight if they have to, and they are strong, but they often settle disputes with displays, or the loser just flees through the trees. Bonobos have low violence in their society, so strength wasn't as crucial for success. Humans took another path entirely. We became cooperative hunters and tool users. Early humans survived by endurance hunting and by using weapons, so raw muscle wasn't as important as brains and stamina. In fact, carrying a big muscle-bound body uses a lot of energy. Our ancestors likely couldn't afford that while chasing antelope under the hot sun. So over time, we got skinnier, more efficient bodies for walking and running long distances, and we offloaded fighting ability to invented weapons. All these evolutionary factors explain the strength ranking. Gorilla at the top due to specific adaptations for power and size, then other apes and humans at the bottom for physical strength. 
We've compared size, strength, weapons, and evolutionary background across the great apes. So how strong is a gorilla compared to other apes? In every physical sense, the gorilla stands at the top. So why are gorillas the strongest? It boils down to evolution handing them the heavyweight title. They evolved to be big, muscular, and incredibly powerful to survive in their niche. They didn't need to become smart tool users like us because muscle did the job. They didn't stay small like chimps or bonobos because a gorilla strategy was get huge and no one will bother you. And it works. In the wild, adult gorillas have hardly any predators. Their strength is literally their survival superpower. In a parallel comparison of all great apes, the gorilla wins in strength. Orangutans come second in raw might, chimps, bonobos are somewhere after, and humans, well, we come last in brawn, but obviously first in brain.